The original creation of the Turtles came out of love, passion, and a late night out of goofiness. I did this drawing of a turtle standing upright with a mask on, nunchucks strapped to his arms, and I put it on a piece of desk and I said, this is going to be the next big thing, a Ninja Turtle. The animated series came out in 1987 when I was five years old. The live action movie came out in 1990. I was eight. It was like perfectly geared towards someone my age. Ninja Turtles is something that all of us have been obsessed with ever since we were kids. I remember being four years old and wanting all of the toys, action figures, cartoons, the bed sheets. I was just kind of obsessed with them. I started taking karate probably because of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How much love was put into their designs and the props? My dad bought nunchucks because of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Package art and everything about it was like funny and weird and told a story. They called us and said, would you guys ever be interested in working on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Did we play it cool at all? Or no. Yeah. no, no. If we can approach it through this teenage lens, really lean into like a coming of age version of it. And they said yes. Like a breath of fresh air. Jeff was willing to say, like, we have to make this look and feel totally different. He was like, what if it's animated by teenagers, so to speak? We put so much work into the visuals, into the artwork. The style is perfect for this. It's almost like an underground comic. It reminds me a lot of the original stuff that Peter and I did. It's you and your buddies. It's you and your brothers. It's you and your sister and your brother. I think a lot of people can relate to kind of feeling like an outsider at times this desire to fit in, to be accepted. It's one of the most essential emotions. The fans are insanely awesome. Whether it be, I love the turtle so much, I wore the same Halloween costume for three years in a row, or I had a really tough childhood, and the turtles helped me get through that, and that's when it hits you emotionally. Wanting to create, wanting to tell your own stories, and then actually having it happen. It's a dream, and it happened. I loved the Ninja Turtles. It was like the first thing I was ever a fan of. It's fun and exciting. Here I am, 61 years old, and I'm still getting up and drawing comics. Turtles every day. We wanted there to be tons of mutants. There was this huge well of mutant characters that were kind of underutilized. I can't believe there are other mutants like us! <laughs> And we met with Ice Cube and we said, okay, the character's name is Superfly and he looks like this. Ice Cube laughed and smiled and we're like, I think he's in. He's a cool supervillain, I'm a cool supervillain. I decided to kill all the humans and let the mutants rule the earth. That, that's a take. The Ninja Turtles kind of get this idea that if they stop Superfly and the mutants, maybe that'll be a thing that proves to people that they're good and that they should be accepted. It was pretty cool to see Superfly with his crew of mutants. I'm so sorry. I didn't introduce my peeps. Rock steady. Bebop. Hey, what you looking at, bro? Yeah, bro, what you looking at? Mondo Gecko. People's they got to give. Wing nut. Hi, wing nut. Ray Filet. Ray Filet. Scumbug. I got this. <laughs> Don't patronize me. And Leatherhead. Oh, good night, fellas. And this idea of kind of like bringing it to this like monster movie type place was really fun and exciting. It's called Mutant Mayhem. I think the animation and the flavor of the movie is so original and fresh. <laughs> what we wanted to do was create an incredibly fun and engaging version of the Ninja Turtles. We had this idea that they had to feel like real teenagers. Turtle boy, actually. I, I would say teens. They need to look like teenagers. They need to sound like teenagers. It was like, what if it's animated by teenagers? Can I change it? The doodles that you do in the size of your notebook were taken, extrapolated, and made into the look of a whole movie. Weird shapes and crazy perspective. You would reach this point where you're like, a little bit more askew and misshapen. Great, it's perfect. Can I kick? He kept using this term teenage energy over and over again. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm, the I'm Leo. Can I kick it? The bigger swings visually that these animated movies are taking, the more excited people seem to be by them. As long as I can remember, I was a Ninja Turtles fan. Yeah!
We're bringing to life these characters for a new generation, and the cast is really funny. Ooh, 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 it's ooh, nice, ooh. right? Can I kick it? Brady Noon is Raphael. I dream about fighting every night. We got Mike Abbey as Donatello. You're fine. Chill. Nicholas Cantu is Leonardo. We're really sorry, Splinter. Some of the guys wanted to get pizza, and I tried to talk them out of it. Leo! Leo! You can Jamon Brown Jr. is Michelangelo. Why do we pick a fruit shaped exactly like my head? We would record the kids at once. The personalities of the characters came from the chemistry they had with each other. Who ratted us out? Hey, don't use that word that way. I mean, it's 2023. Sorry, like Dad. Jackie Chan is Splinter. He's incredible. Anytime you need more, call me. And Io Adebri plays April O'Neil. This is insane. Turtle mutant karate team. I'm excited to lean into the mutant element of it. We had the designs and then wrote the personalities of the characters to who was cast. Six in the morning, police at my door. Ice Cube is super fly. Show some little tortoises, huh? <gasps> me and John Cena are Bebop and Rocksteady. What you looking at, yeah, bro? What you looking at? Mondo Gecko is played by Paul Rudd. People's zig out to get. Post Malone is Ray Filet. Ray Rose Byrne plays Leatherhead. Oh, good night, fellas. Giancarlo Esposito plays Baxter Stockman. Natasha Dimitrio plays Wingnut. Hannibal Burris plays Genghis Frog. Maya Rudolph, Cynthia Utram. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a comedic action movie with heart. Do you think there are people who will accept us? Yark, yark, yark. No, no, absolutely not. Um, genuinely, no. Hope you enjoyed your behind the scenes look. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you here next time. Later.